Good new time zone and reality everyone, my name is Vel here at Science Way, and today's video is a little different. This is a time lapse video for a merchandise design I was making for Science Her Way. If you don't know, I have a Amazon account or an Amazon merch account for Science Her Way, and I make designs that are STEM based for women and girls and STEM without the girly stereotype. So this is a time lapse video about me making a new merch design. Merch design. <laughs> So the idea was some kind of galaxy themed design because even though I'm not super into space, I do love galaxy galaxy designs. And I just wanted another one. I already had about one or two up on my store, but I was like, I was thinking, you know what? I need another one. I can't get enough of galaxy designs. So I was thinking, well, okay, let's do a galaxy design with a brain. I want to do something with the brain I had. So the graphics I'm using, are let's see the first one you can see right now is this space background which i added a oil oilify filter to this program is krita k-r-i-t-a it's free the graphics were free i believe when i got them so i got them from design bundles you can use them for commercial use as long as you change them a little bit that is why i added a filter to change the uh the galaxy background because they say you can use them for commercial use as long as you change them a little bit. Now, a little bit isn't really defined, so that could be from just changing the color to changing it completely. It is a gray area, so I always try to change it as much as I can by adding several filters and changing it a bit. So I added color, the oil filter, and I used a certain brush. I can't remember what brush it was. It's probably the default Krita brush, one of the splatter ones and I made a little circle. I wanted it to be a splatter galaxy kind of pattern. So like it's like a galaxy just splattered on the shirt. I've always loved splatter designs. And the brain I'm using I got from flaticons.com and I had the premium license. When you have the premium license it means you can use them for commercial use. So I got that from there. I'm not sure what, which pack it is. I downloaded several packs from that website. So it's just some kind of brain that's outlined. Now, if you notice, this is technically the design. It's done. I got purple. I tried to make some highlights to it. You can't really see, but there's another window that I'm using that I can change the color. Right now, I have it to where OBS is capturing the main window, so it won't catch capture any pop-ups. So I got the base design down. I got my colors. That's fine. The problem was... I was using a certain blend mode in Krita where the background, or the more so the galaxy background, only pops up on the splattered circle with a background behind it. So different blend modes in any program affects how different images overlay each other, interact with each other. So for example, if I have a red square over a circular brick texture and I have it set to either blend or subtract, for example, it could either look washed out, it could be a negative color, you know, different blend modes do different, do different things. So I had it on a blend mode to where the background would only pop up on the black splatter design I'd made. The problem with that is it only pops up when there's something behind it. Right now, what's behind it is a white, white background, which you can see on the corners. I needed this design to be transparent. When you're uploading things to merch on Amazon, and I think for any merchandise website at all, you need to have your design be on a transparent background. That means the, the design is isolated. You know, if you were to post it onto like Skype or Discord or an email, you'd only see that design. You wouldn't see a, back, a white background or a black background or anything. I actually could not figure out for quite a bit here how to get that to work. I'd never done something like this before in Krita. I've done the whole overlay a background or a texture on something else and, th and that texture takes on or that image or prop takes on that background in a pick monkey, but it's no longer free and there's no layers and I'm just up I've upgraded in tools. So I had quite the time figuring out how to get this to work. I even had left. I stepped away for a little bit. I left the recording on, but it's okay. I cut that out for you all, I think. <laughs> but I stepped away, didn't do anything with it for a little bit. A couple of hours, probably eight, and helped my mom with whatever. It was the time. This was recorded a while back. And I was just like, I really don't understand. 
And I could have Googled it, Googled it. I'm not sure if I did. This was, like I said, recorded a long time ago, about mm, sometime last year. But I just kind of played with the different blend modes until I got it right. So I was like, okay, there is, you know, the background's off now. So I turned the white background off and you can see the texture or the galaxy background is now everywhere. So it's like, okay, that's not what I want. So I moved the black circle up and down. I changed the blend mode. Sometimes your object needs to be above your texture. Sometimes it has to be the other way around. I was just really playing around with it and seeing what I, what I could do. There was a race, which was close to what I wanted. Except it was the reversal. It made a splatter hole in the in the in the uh, background, which is the opposite of what I want. I was like, okay, I'm close. How do I do this though? How do I fix this? And I really just played around with it. The brain was fine. I just inserted that, resized it a little bit, turned it white, and there we go. That's the brain. It was done. Once again, I stepped away, and I just played with it more. I was like, okay, there's got to be a way. Because there's no way I have to, you know, manually erase the background. And technically, I could have. The thing is, it's a splatter design, so it's not smooth. And I didn't want to miss a single little speck. So I didn't want to do it that way. And I knew there just had to be a way to do it that was easier. That didn't require a lot of manual labor for something that should have been really easy. And once again, I just left. If you're wondering what the stuff is at the top, that's just my overlay for when I stream. I usually have that on when I record. This was not a live stream. I did record this. I just sat down one day and recorded it. So no, there won't, there's not a live stream of this. But this took me a good couple hours. I want to say hmm, five, maybe five hours. And right here, you see, I figured it out. The blend mode which I'll be sure to put on screen because I can't see it from here, but it says darken something. But I figured out the kind of blend mode I needed. My splatter circle need to be above the background, the space background. And all I, could, all I had to do was just copy and paste the different backgrounds and change the color. And that was it. I had my design. Even though my mom did not approve this design for shirts, she wasn't a big fan of it, even though I was. We, we were able to use it for pop sockets. If you don't know what pop sockets are, pop sockets are a thing you hook on your phone and they can just hold it up to prop it up or as a grip. And they are currently on Amazon. You can go to tinyurl.com slash SHW pop sockets. And you can see there are the brain matter designs and a few others that are mine. Some are not mine. Make sure when you click a design, you see it's by Science Away. That lets you know that it is by me. If it does not say that, then it's not by me. And plus, I'll be sure to post it on Twitter and Instagram and my website that, yes, I've made this design. This is one I have. And it comes in six colors. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to check it out. And if you do get one, let me know. Send, send it to me. Send a picture either on Twitter or Instagram. Just tag me, at Science Away. I would love to see which kind you get. Even if it's not this design, if it's a different design I have, let me know. I'd love to see it. And I hope you enjoyed this little insight into how I make some of my merch designs. Anyway, I'll see you later. Bye.